Hi everyone, and this is B Naidu MSc Physics. In first BSc first sem, first unit is vector analysis. Before entering the vector analysis, we have to study about some basics. Let us take physical quantities. The quantities which are measurable is called as physical quantities. Let us take a quantity. It is measurable. Definitely, it is measurable. That is called as physical quantity. Physical quantities can be classified into three types. One is colors, another one is vectors, and tensors. What is color? Color it have only magnitude, no direction. Let us take one example. Mass. Mass have only magnitude, no direction. That's why mass is color quantity. Like as time, distance, speed, temperature, and also our color quantities. Next one vectors. Vectors have both magnitude and direction and obey vector addition laws. Let us take one example, velocity. Velocity is a vector quantity. Let us take fluid. Fluid flow on the floor. The fluid particles, velocity. We calculate velocity and also we calculate direction of the fluid. That means velocity is vector quantity and so on. Next one, tensors. Tensors having different magnitude in different directions. Different magnitude in different directions does not obey vector addition laws. Example strain, moment of inertia, stress. These are the examples of tensors. What are the main difference in between vector and tensor? Tensor having different magnitude in different directions. Vector having constant magnitude in different directions. That is the main difference. Field and scalar field. Before entering vector field and scalar field, what is field? Field is the region in space in which every point is characterized by physical quantity. Let us take region in space. Space is a region considered just the region on each and every point of characteristics. One of the physical quantity is based on the physical quantity. So, that one region is called the field. It depends upon the nature of physical quantity. Field can be classified into two types. One is vector field and another one is scalar field. One region of each and every point of characteristics in vector physical quantity of opioid in which I explain just the vector field and check them. Scalar physical quantity of opioid in which I explain just the vector field and check them. Scalar physical quantity of opioid in which I explain just the vector field and check them. Vector field can represent by a bar of x comma y comma z. Here, a bar represents direction, A of x comma y comma z represents magnitude. Scalar field can be represented by pi of x comma y comma z. Graphically, vector field can be represented by lines. Those are known as flux lines. Graphically, scalar field can be represented by imaginary surfaces. Vector field examples, gravitational field, magnetic field, electric fields have the examples of vector field. Temperature, gravitational potential, electric potentials are the examples of scalar field. Let us take one example. Let us take two opposite charges. You know, positive charge, lines of forces diverge from the positive charge, lines of forces converge to the negative charge. And these two charges at a distance are field lines passing like this. Let us take one point on the field line. Now we draw a tangent. This tangent represents direction of electric field at this point. Let us take another point. We draw a tangent like this. This tangent represents direction of electric field at this point. Now, let us take small elementary, 
small element surface how many number of lines of forces passing through this elementary area represents magnitude of electric field that means we find out direction and magnitude direction meant definitely it is vector quantity these two charges surrounded by vector quantity that means this is vector field that is called electric field clear another sense if point changes in the field direction also changes and magnitude also changes and finally in vector field point to point both magnitude and direction changes next case let us say a region if there is no charge here then potential in this region is zero now let us take charge definitely potential will be developed in this region from charge to this point let us say distance r1 from charge to this point let us say distance r2 from charge to this point let us say distance r3 you know potential formula v equal to k q by r if distance changes potential change if distance changes potential change the charge is surrounded by potential potential is which quantity is scalar quantity then this region is called scalar field or electric potential field now we draw a surface like this this surface is called equipotential surface because in this surface the potential is constant that is called as equipotential surfaces this is the brief introduction about vector field and scalar field clear thank you thank you all